Hi everyone, I'm Anna Finch from Finch Press and the author of Voiceless. So today's video is basically about the new thing that's currently on uh, KDP, which is the publishing platform on Amazon. So they've recently just released a beta version of hardcovers um, for publishing on their platform. Now, because it's a beta, they have very limited options when it comes to distribution and things like that. Um, so what I'm actually going to do in this video is I'm actually going to explain uh, the options and things available for hardcovers on Amazon, okay, at this stage. And I'm also going to be making comparisons to Ingram, which has so far been one of the few uh, platforms that offers hardcovers. I believe Lulu also offers hardcovers, um, but Ingram is pretty much the only one that's a really available um, at it, and it's pretty much the only one available here in Australia. Um, as Lulu is an American company, Ingram is as well, but um, the publishing all happens pretty much in the US with Lulu from my understanding. So, which is where Ingram's a bit cheaper for me if, if I'm ordering proof copies and things like that. So I'm gonna be making comparisons between uh, the hardcovers on um, Amazon what's involved, how it's set up, things like that, um, and compared to Ingram. Um, this is just so that you get some information about how these things work um, and which platform you think might work for you. Um, so I'm going to share my screen. Um, I'm going to be basically showing you a couple of pages and things from the Amazon page and as well as the Ingram Spark page and to show you things like royalties and how much like what the print costs are things like that um so okay All right so you should hopefully see my um Amazon page so when you go on to Amazon and when you're signed in onto Amazon KDP. So you're going to see this and you actually got the option for hardcovers now. Um, it's quite easy to see uh, the getting, if you go to the getting started tips, you can actually find out things like uh, the quality, uh, the formatting and things like that that are required. The setup for the hardcover, I'm just going to click on this, is the exact same process as the ones for the paperback. From what I've seen, and for the ebook, you have to put all the details in for your book, whether it's as part of a series, if there's an edition, however many authors are involved, if there's contributors, uh, your description, the publishing rights, do you own it? Uh, keywords, so you can pick your seven keywords directly, which is a plus, because if you're publishing directly with Amazon KDP, you pick the specific words and phrases that you want. Um, in order to help narrow down or help the or help your audience find your book. Um, if you do it on Ingram, I mean you still pick keywords and things like that. You can put more keywords. Um, but with Ingram, the thing is the words you put in, generally the first few ones are the ones that you pick. Um, and they might send it straight to Amazon. You may they may send your categories and they might pick words from your categories the best suit what you've put down for your book i don't know that's my um so there could be miss there could be um weaker keywords sent whereas with this you put the specific words or phrases that will help narrow down the work uh, help the audience find you um and this is what and they will create further keywords from this. And they also pick your category. So you put up to two browser categories. Now, Ingram, you can put more, I believe. You can put more categories um, and subcategories. Uh, thing, this one here, you can pick whether it's a large print. Okay. Um, so the, this will just basically tick in that box and just add it. I have a large print book um, that I've published through Ingram. Um, so they still publish the large print. As long as it says it in the edition, it, they'll publish it. So that's generally how the platform looks like. You upload the content, the specific requirements for that, and you select your royalties. Um, so when you go on to the 
getting started tips. So you can go on to like formatting your hardcover and they've got, they will specify uh, trim sizes and margins. So if you're using a, if you're formatting it yourself um, using vellum, um, then you can automatically set the trim sizes uh, and the margins using the program and it will just do it. Um, there's another software that I'm trying out. Um, not ready to talk about it yet, but um, I'm testing it out to see the quality and things like that. Um, but yeah, you can set the margins, uh, front matter, back matter. There's stuff about saving your manuscript for uploading and previewing your file, formatting the cover letter as well. So uh, for those of you who may not have published yet, Ingram Spark and Amazon and Lulu, pretty much all publishing platforms for uh, print books have specific requirements on the formatting for the covers. Okay, Ingram can, will actually create a PDF template that you can then put your cover directly on. Um, you can um, basically, you just, to create the thing, you put in the details, pages, the page number, the whether it's a hardback, paperback, large print, whatever. Um, so pages, hardback, um, if it's got a case laminate or if it's got a jacket um, and you put in your IBN, ISBN and basically will create the template for you and it'll create a barcode. It could actually create a barcode for you as well. Um, and basically your cover artist and you should be hiring one uh, rather than doing it yourself unless you are qualified in doing it. Uh, will then basically use the template and put and create the cover letter, the cover letter, sorry, um, the cover directly on top of the template within the margins and the bleed areas so that you can get a good quality cover that matches their requirements. Amazon has the same thing, okay? You can um, download a cover template. So if you go here, same sort of thing as with Ingram Spark. You select the binding. So if it's hardback, interior, paper type. Okay. Uh, left, right, I believe it is. Yeah. I'm just going to go inches because that's how it is. Interior. So if it's a hardcover, that's my hardcover size. Page count and it calculates the dimensions. And it will create a template. And you can download the template and basically give it to your designer. If you're planning on using both Ingram and KDP for hardcovers in the future, because you want, and I'm gonna explain the, the how it's gonna work. If you're planning on using KDP and Amazon, or KDP, Amazon and Ingram Spark for hardcovers. So if you're gonna use both, you're going to have to get your designer to design the cover on the template for Ingram Spark and then to do it again on KDP because the requirements, the positioning of the barcode, the, the bleed areas, spine, everything is different. Okay. It is very, very different. Uh, you will still get a PDF that looks like this, but then there may be some differences in the bleed areas. So it's better, it's better for you to um, basically get a template for both and get it formatted for both. But you can, this is pretty much easy for you to do. Um, you can do it for paperback as well. Okay. Uh, two, four. Same thing. So you, it's very easy to get the template and you can get it from the uh, getting started guides. Okay. And it's very easy to, for you to develop. Okay. Um, now, here's the thing. With, uh, with KDP, there are no pre-orders. This is the same for any sort of print book on KDP. Paperback, large print, hardcover, no pre-orders whatsoever. The only thing you can get pre-orders on is eBooks. 
Now, Ingram Spark does pre orders for both print and ebooks. Okay, regardless of the print format available. So it's possible that if you go through Ingram Spark and that um, the person who's interested may be able to pre order your book on Amazon through Ingram Spark. Uh, also, people who sell books on Amazon that that, that other people have written can pre-order it and get it sent to them and they can sell it from there. Um, so there's that. Now, another thing you need to realize is that when it comes to hardcover books at this stage, okay, the future is different. At this stage in the beta stage, they only do case laminate hardcover books, okay, which is important. Okay, so I don't know if you know what they are. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen so you can actually see it in a bigger picture. But a case laminate book is like this. So it's basically like exactly the same thing as a paperback. Only what they do is they print the cover directly onto the cardboard. Okay, whoops. So they print the cover directly onto the cardboard. Um, they, or they print it and then glue it, okay, onto the cardboard that makes up the cover. So if you can see, they basically glued it on. Okay, they could also print it on. This is basically case laminate. Now I've got it in a gloss, which is why it's nice and shiny. I like the shiny. Um, and that's basically what it looks like. They add extra pages though, so you do need to be aware about that. So they add an extra page at the front and at the back. This is basically so that when you, if you have a uh, jacket, you can basically put it on. Um, so that's basically what the case laminate, laminate is. This is generally, this is what I got from Ingram Spark. Okay, so the quality is really good. I like it, no issues. Um, I got it designed through um, with an actual cover artist uh, on 99 designs. Um, and I used the template given to me by uh, Ingram. Okay. And I was very, very careful with the measurements and making sure that if they added extra pages, the margin would be enough. Um, yeah. So this is basically glued on. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, so all of the pages are glued and then held together with a stitch. So that's case laminate. This is the only format available on KDP hardcover at this stage. There are no uh, dust jackets and there are no cloth-based covers. Now, a cloth-based cover, okay, or a dust cover, which is an option available on uh, Ingram, is basically um, it's basically a, a rough fabric type cover um, that um, literally may only have the title and author name on the spine. You may have a print or it's a line art or something on the cover or front. Uh, you may have the title on the front. You may have the author name on the front. Or you may have nothing on the front and back and then a spine. Generally speaking, the that type of uh, hardback or hardcover, generally speaking, will have a hard, with will have a dust jacket with the actual cover design on there. So a dust jacket, basically this, it's basically a piece of cardboard or printed paper with your cover, spine, and back um, in the same design as your normal hardcover or same same as your paperback really and they've got basically two little areas where you can put things like quotes praise uh trigger warnings in my case um because i forgot to put them on the paperback uh or at least not at the front of the paperback it's at the back um that's just my mistake uh next time i'm going to make sure they're like at the front rather than the back um, I forgot to edit it and Ingram Spark costs money to change it and I uh, don't have a lot of money. 
Uh, but you can put things like your author about the author, uh, things like uh, links to specific social media platforms and things like that. So that's basically what the dust jacket is. That dust jacket option, not available with Amazon KDP, not at this stage. They may decide in the future to add it on, uh, but that is up to them. And I have no clue when, if ever, are they going to do it considering um, originally there was no hardcover uh, and it took a number of years for them to get beta stage for a hardcover in the first place. Um, so that's basically what it would look like. Quality, I have no clue what the quality would be like. Um, I don't know what the colours would be like because I haven't used the hardcover beta version yet. I may end up using it to get uh, author copies um, or, or proof copies before <laughs> for my next book, before I even upload it to Ingram Spark to test it out, but to also see, to also get like any errors and things and pick them up. Um, the positive sign for that, uh, if you don't want a dust jacket, the option that's on KDP for hardcovers is actually pretty good. Um, there's no setup fees, which is the same for anything on the platform. There's no setup fees, no revision fees, no publishing fees, which is a major plus. So if you are publishing on a limited budget, okay, KDP, and you want it and you want hardcovers, KDP is probably the better option for that. Um, when you're ordering proof copies, proof copies will have, from what I understand on Amazon, uh, like a bar or across the cover, basically saying proof copy, not for a resale, something like that. Um, author copies won't have that bar. And you'll basically, if you order an author copy, it'll look something like that. Same as with Ingram Spark. Um, you only pay for the printing, the tax and the shipping, which is the same on Ingram Spark. But the printing costs are actually calculated a bit differently, or at least you can see how it's calculated and work it out for yourself without using the automatic calculator. Um, if I can show you. Okay. Um, another thing is um, the trim sizes are limited on uh, Amazon KDP for the hardcovers. There's only five trim sizes available for a hardcover. Now, if you go to Ingram Spark, where is it? No, not this one. If you go to Ingram Spark, there are many more options when it comes to print sizes. So there are closer to about 20 print sizes when it comes to um, hardcover books on Ingram. Um, and when it comes to op uh, options, they've got laminate, which is what's available on, Ingram, uh, on KDP at the moment, a cloth, which is the rough cloth texture with maybe only the title and author name on, this, on the spine and jacketed, which is the one I've got. I've got case laminate plus jacketed. Um, so they've got more, many more options when it comes to the formatting and the trim sizes. Um, another thing you need to be aware of is distribution when it comes to the hardcover. At this stage, you can only really publish the hardcover book in amazon.com, which is the US store. Am and New Zealand generally can access that one. Uh, the Amazon UK store, the uh, German, Spanish, French, and Italian store, I believe it is. Um, the Canadian and Australian store aren't listed as a primary marketplace um, in order to, for it to be available on, Can on the Canadian or the Australian, you have to make it available on amazon.com. Uh, it's not available for in the Japan website and it's not available for expanded distribution. So what that means is if you are getting the hardcover designed and, you're, and you want a hardcover copy, 
and you put it on Amazon, at this stage, the only place you can sell that hard copy is Amazon. You can't sell it to other distributors because it's not available for expanded distribution, which is basically what Ingram Spark does when they distribute it to all different platforms. Okay. So this is that's something you need to be aware of because if you go to Ingram Spark, okay, they've got connections to a whole bunch of other platforms. Uh, if you publish with Ingram Spark with hardcover, paperback, whichever, you can distribute it across the US, UK, Europe, and Australia. And there are and it's available to many other retailers, wholesalers, um, and print distributors. So the moment you enter your hardback paperback ebook in through Ingram Spark, it's available through all these places. Okay. Um, not which is not available at this stage for the beta uh, version of hardcovers. Now, if that's not an issue for you, go for it. Um, me personally, I may in the future do both a hardcover um, in Amazon and also do it in Ingram Spark. Um, if it is, if I do it that way, I can just basically notify Ingram Spark and just say, hey, I don't want you to distribute my hardcover to Amazon. Distribute it to everyone else, just not Amazon, which means. I can do on both platforms. Um, what else? Uh, when you are get, uh, uh, another thing, uh, the reporting format, uh, looking at your sales report is easy. It is super easy. Literally, you just set in the specific dates you want the um, sales data for. And it will tell you how many books you've sold per day uh you can look at it for you can see it as a total if you got or if you've got ebook paperback and the other formats you can literally specify okay i only want to see the sales for this particular book for this isbn and you can see it you can see it numerically you can find out how much royalties you made per sale in total you can view it over a month you can look at the sales data for a year you can look at pre-orders if you or you can't for for the uh, print books, but um, you can for ebooks. So the sales, the ability to read the sales, how many sales you made, how much money you got in royalties, super easy. Uh, Ingram Spark, I mean, I can understand it, but it's complicated. So whereas with uh, KDP dashboard, when it comes to the sales report, it will tell you specifically how much you made, you can get um, specific data for like how much you made in particular uh, Amazon platforms. Um, Ingram Spark, when they send you the sales data, from what I can see, uh, they will split it into like US, UK, Australia, and global connect and all that sort of stuff. And it'll tell you how much you sold in those areas. And you would have to get a sales report for each area rather than one whole sales report saying, yep, X, Y, Z, you got in this platform, X, Y, Z, you got in this platform. Um, so it's a bit more confusing when it comes to the sales data and understanding it. Uh, getting paid, also difference. Uh, Amazon KDP, um, you can only really use, you can only really get paid using direct deposit, uh, wire transfer or a check. Uh, you can, if you don't have a bank account in specific countries, you can use Pioneer as an option. Um, whereas with Ingram Spark, you've got PayPal and Pioneer as an option as well. Um, when you were getting paid, this is something you need to be aware of for hardcovers. Uh, I, I don't, I'm not sure if it's the same as paperback because I haven't published directly with Amazon when it comes to paperback. I've only published my ebook directly with Amazon. Um, but when it comes to um, getting paid, you get paid 60 days after a sale that is made on Amazon. So because it's not available in expanded distribution at this stage, you'll get paid every month 
for sales 60 days after. So if you uh, make a sale in January, you'll get paid in March. Um, if considering they've mentioned they may make it available in expanded distribution. If they do, um, when it's in, in expanded distribution, you get paid 90 days after the sale. So if you make a sale in January, you'd get paid in like April. Um, calculating the printing costs and the royalties is easy. You've got a calculator, um, literally. So this is what the calculator looks like. I'm just gonna put the details for my hardcover. Okay, Amazon, now, how much did I put? So I'm gonna put the ISBN. I think this is the hardcover ISBN. So this is the um sorry. It's just like a really, the website's not that easy to calculate. Pretty sure it was twenty six ninety nine for a hardcover. Um, so the publisher discount, that's the thing you need to realize when it comes to Ingram Spark. They ask you to put a publisher discount of about 53%. Uh, you can go lower. I've gone lower. Um, they're also changing their pricing. So if you calculate, this is how much it costs with a 53% discount. That's how much the print cost is for a jacket laminate. I'll just go case laminate. So print charge, 279. Um, that's how much it costs to print. Now, if you go this, your, your printing cost, for the hardcover on Amazon is about 60 cents cheaper. And because of the way the royalty works, you get, I think, 60% of your royalty. So there's a fixed fee. And if you look at the estimated royalty, list price, minimum list price, printing, plus estimated royalty, on Amazon for a hardcover, I would get about $7. For a book at the same price, I get $5 less in royalties, which is a shame because it means that on, um, on uh, Ingram Spark, I've got to sell my book about $26, $27 in order to get at least some compensation now, 290 compensation is quite a bit. But the thing is, I lose money when it's converted into Australian dollars. Um, so I lose money when it's converted into Australian dollars. I lose money when it's transferred into PayPal. So that isn't the full royalty I would get. Now, I think I've put my um, wholesale discount at 45%. No, I put it for 50%, I think. Can't remember. Um, now, if I was to go, I'll go 16.99. I'll go 16.99 as my list price. I lose, I lose $1.30, which means every time someone orders a book on Ingram Spark at that list price, I have to pay $1.30. 
I don't get any money, which is why I've got to basically have a price that is higher. Uh, if you look at Australian dollars, cost fifteen dollars to print, um, which is why it costs even more. And if you look at this, I can go sixteen. Let's go twenty-one. Okay. Oh, okay. Maybe eighteen ninety-nine. Right, I can go and get about the same amount of royalty for on Amazon for the hardcover, roughly, that I get on Ingram Spark for about selling my book about eight dollars cheaper, which is awesome. Um, it also means that you you can offer your books at a more affordable rate, which is I think a really awesome thing to do. Um, yeah. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, something you do need to be aware of, pricing on Ingram and Amazon would change. Um, I highly, highly recommend that before you publish on any platform, read the user guides, read the help guides. So read all the information for that particular book for publishing a print book, okay? And be, be very careful and read through it. And if you don't understand it, get someone to explain it to you um, or get someone who to ex read through it and explain the th key things you need to know because things like terms and conditions guide and the guidelines can really so screw you over they can really um it can really affect a whole bunch of stuff so if you don't read those terms and conditions uh, and if you don't understand them you may read through or scroll through it and just go tick you are putting yourself in a pretty bad position because if the assumption is when it comes to terms and conditions that you've read them that you know what the requirements are um and if you don't, and you haven't made the effort to understand, uh, platforms like Ingram and KDP aren't going to be that lenient. So you do need to be aware of it. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much a massive long overview of uh, book, the hardcover uh, book on, on uh, Amazon KDP. The things that come with it, um, the requirements, the details, and, mm -hmm. and my comparisons to Ingram Spark. Um, personally, um, I think that um, I may use the hardcover uh, publishing on Amazon for my future books and print directly with them when it comes to my other books um mainly to test it out but also because i can afford it i can distribute it at a more affordable price um to my customers and to my audience um which i can't really do when it comes to ingram spark um I might test it out. Um, at this stage, I'm kind of like, wait and see. I'm still in the process of writing my collection of short stories and my novel, um, which I thought I was going to get done and published this year. But um, the amount of stuff I've had to do with my work, a lot of delays. I have no, I've got to update my website because I have no clue at this stage when I'll be publishing my next book. Uh, if I can, I want to finish my collection of short stories this year um, and publish those because I can actually pump. Yeah. Anyway, have you tested out the hardcover yet? Have you had a look? Are you thinking about publishing through Amazon a hardcover edition? What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. Um, 
I'm more I am interested to hear your opinions. Um, and if you've used other publishing platforms for hardcover books other than Ingram, or even if you've used Ingram, um, what was your experience like? Uh, what did you think of it? I'll be interested to hear it. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you would like to see more content from me, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I generally try to do a live stream at least once a week uh, for a live writing sprints. Um, I am planning at this stage to do more writing sprints each week during the school holidays. Uh, it really depends <laughs> on how I am at that particular time and whether or not I've actually caught up with my work. Uh, anyway, see you guys next time. See ya.